and we have discussed how to reverse a singly linked list to uh, check out those videos i'll provide you the link in the description box you can check out there the complete uh, series on linked list in data structure fine you can check out in the description box so now this is a doubly linked list it is having four nodes and i want to reverse this doubly linked list see i don't want to swap the nodes like this this node and with this nodes seven would go here and six would go there like this i i'm not going to swap the nodes what i'm going to do is i'll just reverse these links fine that uh, processor we have already discussed in singly linked list how to reverse a singly linked list fine so now how you will reverse these links see we are having a head pointer and a tail pointer without tail pointer also we can reverse this link this uh, double linked list fine now see what i want to do is see the this next pointer of this node is containing address of the next node right and the previous pointer is containing address of the previous node there is no previous node that is why it is null so after reversing what i want to do so now in the next node in the next node i will store the address of the previous node not the next node after reversing it means see in the next pointer of this node address of the next node is there but after reversing i want the next pointer of this node contains address of the previous node means it should contain zero and see this previous pointer of this node is containing address of the previous node no previous node that is why it is containing null but after reversing what i want this previous pointer will contain address of the next node that is 150 so here there should be 150 this is what reversing means swap these values fine and finally swap the tail would point here and head would point here fine same here see this node how you will do the previous pointer of this node is containing address of the previous node but after reversing i want what this previous pointer should contain address of the next node that is i want here what 500 the next pointer should contain after reversing the address of the this this previous node that is 200 so here 200 right this is what the reversing means this is what i will i will implement fine so simply what what we are doing we are swapping these values 200 here 500 here 0 here 150 here this 150 here and this 400 here this is what we will do here we will write what 0 so this 0 would be here and this 500 would be here after reversing fine so now how we will do this thing see here obviously we are not going to move this head fine so we will take what another pointer suppose i am taking a temp pointer and temp is pointing to this node suppose temp is pointing to this node and temp is containing what this 200 fine so now how can we do swapping suppose here i write how we can access this part temp of next is equal to here i want to store what i want to swap these values so this value zero i want to store here so how, how we can write temp of previous means the temp of previous value zero now would be stored here rather than 150 fine now it means this link has been broken there is no link like this fine now here i want to store what 150 this this address of this node but now from where i can get this 150 because see we have already broken this link so here we have now zero we have don't have 150 so from where i can get this 150 so that is a problem now if you if you will say ma'am we are not going to implement this 150 we are not going to update this 150 first we will update this node first right so rather than writing this line what i can do you suppose if you write temp of previous now temp of previous will contain the value this this value 150 so here i can write temp of next it means here i don't have zero now i have 150 right now here i want to store what this value zero but here we have already updated that is 150 so from where i can get this this value fine 
it is not like that we simply write temp of next is equal to 0 and that is fine. No, because here I cannot write suppose at some point of time temp would be here. So, I cannot write here 0. We are our main motto is what we are going to swap these values. So, now we cannot do this thing. Now, what we can do we, we have to store this this point this address also we need some another pointer. So, now we are taking one more pointer suppose I am taking one more pointer here that is I am taking the name next node right and I am not taking temp I am taking what current you can take any name temp temp one as you wish fine and when I assign this current is equal to head means now current this pointer is containing this address at the same time after that we I will assign what next node in next node I will assign 150 from where I can get 150. So, I will write next node is equal to here from here I can get 150 that is current of next now next node is pointing to here. Now, you can update this thing right now if suppose you write current of next is equal to current of previous means you have updated this thing here we have 0. Now, here I want to store this value that is address of this thing 150 now from where I can get 150 because this thing we have already updated from here I can get 150 because I have set a pointer to this node already before updating before breaking this link right. So, now I can write current previous is equal to next node and after that we will move this current and next node would be this node now. So, you have to maintain what two pointers fine. So, now I will write the code C. So, now this thing I hope everybody knows we have discussed many times what is this we have defined our own data type the data type of this node that is struct node three parts are there one is data part and two are next and previous pointers right and we have already we have uh, declared here two pointers that is head and tail. So, here I can write asterisk head asterisk tail or if you do not write here simply you can do semicolon here and after that here you can write this data type struct node asterisk head and asterisk tail fine. After that you can uh, call that function create dll that we have already discussed and you create this uh, w link list and after that we will call a function that is reverse of this dll. So, now I, I will define this function that is reverse w link list right. So, now in this case now for reversing this list for reversing these links we need two extra pointers right. So, here we will declare these two pointers and how to declare I think this syntax you already know because we have already discussed the syntax many times in the previous videos right. So, now I have these two nodes sorry these two pointers current and next fine. Now, see if you can uh, write down a condition if head is equal to is equal to null it means there is no node in the list list is empty. So, we cannot reverse this list else in else part what you will write I am writing that thing only I am not going to write that if condition I guess you can write that condition that is very easy fine and we have discussed we have already uh, written that condition many times in the program fine. The first step is we are going to point this current here. So, here what I want to store that is 200. So, now from where I can get this 200 head is containing 200. So, here after this what I can write this current is equal to head right now this is pointing to this node only and before updating before reversing before swapping these values I will maintain I will set a pointer to this node also. So, that if we lose this if we break this link we can easily get this address fine for updating these values for reverse uh, for swapping these values. So, here here I will write what this next node is equal to here I want to store 150 from where I can get 150 here the pointer to this long uh, this node is current although we have head, but we are not moving this head we are we will move this current. So, that is why I am using this current and next right. So, 150 would be stored here. Now, what I can do now we can swap these values. So, now what you will write see how you can access this part current of next. So, here I will write current of next is equal to 
here I want to store whatever the value here in this pointer. How we can access this pointer current previous. So here I will write current previous. So now we have updated this link and we have here 0 because the in current previous we have value 0 and that would be stored here in the current next. So now there is no this link is no more now right and now here I want to store what 150 here we have one we, we had 150 now. So this 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 after reversing this previous link should contain address of the next not the previous that is what reversing. So from where I can get 150 in the next node we have 150 that is why we need this uh, next node. So here I can write what current of previous is equal to next node right. So now here I have 150 right it means now this is pointing to here right and this is pointing to here null. So we have reversed these links right now come to this node fine now we will move this current right. So now current in current uh, uh, pointer I want to store 150 from where I can get 150 in next node I have 150. So here I can write current is equal to next node right now current is also having 150 this pointer now this pointer is also pointing to this node now the current node is this one now I want to swap these values see this previous pointer this previous pointer is pointing to this node but I want this pointer should after reversing this pointer should point to the next node that is why I, I want to reverse this link this link I want to break this link and I want that here I, I will store 500 right this value and here this this pointer is containing address of the next node but I want this uh, pointer should contain address of the previous node that is 200. So here I want to swap these uh, links now. So we will repeat the same step right. So these steps I will write in a while loop till we reach here right. So now here I will write before the these line after this line while and you will write what this current pointer not equal to null till then we are going to repeat these four steps please do not write this step in while loop because again we will enter into while loop then again current would be head so again current would point to this node but I want I do not want this thing because we have done with this node now we are at this node we will deal with this node then with this node then with this node till we reach to the, this null so here I will write current not equal to null fine now see we have done one iteration now in current we have next node that is 150 now 150 is not equal to null fine again we will enter into this loop now next node is equal to current of next now in current of next we have current is pointing to this node current next we have 500 so that would be stored in next node so now this next node is pointing to this node now we can update this this link and this link current next current of next is equal to current of previous that is here I will store 200 so now there is this link is no more and now 200 means here so now this is pointing to this node right so now this this will point to this node the previous one we have reversed this link right now this one here current of previous means current previous that is here is equal to next node next node we have 500 so here I will store 500 so this link is no more now now this is pointing to this node right now we are done with this node also we have swapped these values now we will do it current is equal to next node now we will move this current in next node we have 500 so now here we will have 500 so now this is pointing to this node so I will write here again while loop current not equal to null yes current not equal to null again we will enter, to enter into this loop now next node is equal to current and next so in next node we will store what current of next that is 400 so here I am writing this one now next node is containing now 400 right so now next node is pointing to this node now we are going to swap these values same current next is equal to current previous so here 150 this link is no more now and this this 
is now pointing to this node right and this one current of previous current of previous current is pointing to this node current previous here we will store next node next node we have in next node pointer we have 400 so now this is this 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 is now pointing to this node right now we are done with this we will move now current is equal to next node now in current we have 400 so now current is pointing to this node only right and next node is equal to current next in current next we have zero so in next node we have zero it means now next node is not pointing to any node now see we will swap these values current next is equal to current previous current next means here we will store this current previous value right so now this is now what pointing to this node 500 this address and current previous is equal to next node current previous this value is equal to next node in next node we have zero so here we will store zero so now this is pointing to zero right now current is equal to next node now current in current we have zero because current is equal to next node next node we have zero so now current is also not pointing to this node now again zero not equal to zero but this condition is not true right so we will not enter into this loop and we are done we have reversed these links but now still we have something left we have to swap these pointers also head would be here and tail would be here after that reverse operation would be completed now how you are going to swap these things see how you can swap two variables i guess you know easily after taking third variable you can swap these values right so now obviously we have two extra pointers current and next node so we can use these pointers so first of all what you will do you can do what in current we will store head value so after this while loop after this closing you will write what current is equal to head it means in current we have now this 200 so it means current is pointing to this node right now i can update this value now i can write head is equal to tail it means head is containing now 400 so now head is pointing to this node address is this one so now here this is now head right and in tail we should store this 200 right and from where i can get 200 in current we have 200 so here i can write current so now this becomes tail pointer so now this is pointing to this node right now this is done and if you want to check that this is done or not so before these lines before reversing this head and tail before these lines you can print what the data head of data so it should print six and the tail arrow data it should print seven right and after these line after reversing head and tail it means head is equal to here now and tail is here now so after these line if you print print percentage d and if you write head arrow data then it should print 7 after reversing and print f percentage d tail arrow data then it should print 6 before reversing head data is 6 tail data is 7 after reversing these lines head data is 7 and tail data is 6 so this was the iterative approach to reverse the doubly linked list using recursion also we can reverse the list fine and after reversing you can draw it something like this see it if you print this before reversing then it will print 6 5 1 and 7 after reversing if you will call the display function that we have already discussed many times how to traverse the doubly linked list it is same as singly linked list right then what it should print 7 1 5 and 6 in reverse order 7 1 5 and 6 so this is how we can draw this doubly linked list after reversing right so in next video we will implement a circular linked list we will write a c program fine how to uh, create a circular linked list and how to display the content of a circular linked list right so i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care